Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. This is your Disneyland Resort Food and Wine Festival for 2022 menu preview, as well as food booth preview. We're going to take a look and see where the booths are located, check out a lot of the menu items, see what they've got in store for us for 2022. The festival starts on March 4th, goes all the way to April 26th. So let's get right to it and talk about the food and beverages that are being offered. When you first walk into the Food and Wine Festival, and on the left, first booth that you will come by is called Delish. And they are offering the black and tan potato puffs, Carl Strauss Rec Alley Stout Gravy and Lager Micro Sponge. They also have the Cubano Slider, slow marinated mustard crusted pork and sliced smoked ham, melted Swiss cheese, and a slice of pickle served on a Hawaiian roll. That looks really good. And as far as beverages go at Delish, they've got a Central California Cooler, peach, apple, orange, and lemon juice that's non-alcoholic. They've got a chocolate marshmallow cold brew cocktail, Irish whiskey, Joffrey's Mexico origin coffee, chocolate syrup, almond milk, and a toasted marshmallow. This is a new item for this year, so we haven't tried this yet. Now they're also offering the red or green grapes glow cube charm that can be added to any beverage, and you're gonna find this at I think it's most of the booths have this. All right, moving on, nuts about cheese. This booth is located directly across from Delish on the right side of the parade corridor in front of Grizzly Falls. They are offering a peanut butter and jelly mac with brown sugar streusel and strawberry crackle. Whoa, they've got a next level crackers and cheese, house made herb crackers and white cheddar infused fromage blanc, spicy prosciutto spread and cherry jam and a Snickers caramel peanut milk, chocolate, Mickey macaron, filled with caramel ganache, and Snickers pieces. Oh boy. And as far as beverages at Nuts About Cheese, they've got a spicy honey apricot cocktail, rye whiskey, apricot orange, lemon juice, and spicy honey syrup and bitters. This is a new drink being offered this season. And then right next door to Nuts About Cheese, we've got Uncork California. I love this booth with the little spinning corkscrew on the top. They've got a California artisan cheese selection, Habanero Jack with Toma Province. They also have a chocolate hazelnut crunch. That's chocolate hazelnut mousse topped with chocolate hazelnut glaze and a gold leaf. Now the reason it's called Uncork California, you guessed it, a vast selection of wines and mimosas. There's also a mimosa flight that you can get. And moving on down the road to the Berry Patch. They've got a strawberry cheesecake and lemon chantilly. They've also got a blueberry buttermilk pie. Whoa. And as far as beverages are concerned, they've got a cherry chocolate mint dessert cocktail. It's vodka, creme de menthe, cherry, chocolate syrup, coconut cream, and heavy whipping cream. This also is a new item offered this year. And moving on to California Craft Brews. This is directly across from the entrance to Cars Land. They're offering an IPA sausage dog on a soft pretzel roll with onion pepper jardinier, if I said that right, cheddar cheese sauce, and malt vinegar jalapeno crunch. That is a new item. That looks pretty good. I think I want to try that. And of course, the reason why it's called California Craft Brews, a wide selection of beers, lagers, a couple of beer flights offered as well. And they've got some hard seltzer and hard cider. Okay, further down the corridor, as we're kind of located on the backside of Pacific Wharf across from Sonoma Terrace. We've got Pepper's Caliente. They are offering a chili relleno empanada with arbol, pepper, salsa, Oaxaca, and cotija cheeses. Oh boy. They're also offering an aji de galena, if I said that right. Spicy yellow chili cream chicken with jasmine rice and olive tapenade. And as far as beverages are concerned, they've got a Cantorito style paloma, reposado tequila, habanero pineapple juice, rock melon syrup, lime, and fresca. And on to I Love Artichokes, just a little further down the parade corridor across from Sonoma. We've got a chicharron crusted fried artichoke dip with smoked pepper crema and Oaxaca cheese. We've got artichoke toast with an olive tapenade. Beverage wise, we've got a passion fruit rum cocktail, white rum, Italian bitter, aperitif, passion fruit, orange guava, orgot, and lime. That is a new item being offered. And on to avocado time. They're offering a petite avocado impossible burger with dairy-free pepper jack. We've also got a frozen guacamole, avocado paletta with lime crema, pico de gallo, and chili lime seasoning. That sounds interesting. Beverage-wise, they're offering a ruby grapefruit sparkling beverage, grapefruit juice, raspberry syrup, agave nectar, and topa chico. I think Katie's gonna love that. That's non-alcoholic and it has topa chico. They also are offering a Sauvignon Blanc wine. And then moving on down in front of Ariel's Undersea Adventure, we've got Cluck-a-Doodle-Moo, probably my favorite name 
of a booth for the Food and Wine Festival. They're offering ranch wings with hot sauce drizzle, a French onion grilled beef tenderloin slider, grilled beef tenderloin topped with Gruyere cheese sauce, and caramelized onions served on an onion roll. We've had this and we love it. Beverage-wise, they're offering a blackberry lavender lemonade that's not alcoholic. They've also got some beer selections and a sampler beer flight. On to Golden Dreams, which is just down off of the parade corridor towards the Grizzly River Rapids. They're offering a honey orange glazed salmon salad with citrus vinaigrette. That's a new item. And another new item, the mango carrot gazpacho with grilled shrimp and jalapeno crema. That's like a cold soup, I believe. Beverage-wise, they're offering an orange honey cold brew with Joffrey's Mexican origin coffee, orange blossom honey, white chocolate, orange juice, vanilla, orange extract, and almond milk. That's non-alcoholic and that's new. And a pineapple tiki bitter cocktail, aged rum, Campari, pineapple juice, orgot, lime juice, and tiki bitters. Also a new item. I'm looking forward to trying that big time. And they're also offering a Chardonnay. And then all the way down on the left side in front of the Golden Zephyr is Garlic Kissed. I love this booth. They're offering a grilled top sirloin with roasted garlic Gruyere smashed potatoes and black garlic chimichurri. This is a new item. I am looking forward to this a lot. And then a festival favorite, I think, for everybody is the Carbonara Garlic Mac and Cheese with Peppered Bacon. This thing is so addicting. We've, we've had this multiple times at the same festival. It's so good. Beverage-wise, they're offering a rosemary bitter orange mule, vodka, Aperol, orange juice, lime juice, and rosemary syrup, and ginger beer. This is a new item. They also have a wine uh, in the form of a Cabernet Sauvignon. And now traveling all the way to the other side of the park to the Hollywood Studios area, right in front of Mike and Sully's Monsters, Inc. attraction is the L.A. style booth with their L.A. Coliseum looking sign. They're offering a glazed barbecue pork belly with furikake togarashi mac salad, if I said that correctly. This is a new item this year. I'm looking forward to that. There's also a gyro-inspired flatbread featuring impossible ground beef with chipotle hummus, tzatziki, I think I said that right, and spiced crispy chickpeas, also a new item. Beverage-wise, they're offering a mezcaleros ancho Sandia Margarita, Mezcal, Ancho Chili Liqueur, Watermelon, Mango, Lime, and Agave Nectar. That's a new drink being offered at LA Style. Another new beverage being offered is the Sake Melon 75. It's sake, ginger liqueur, Prosecco, rock melon syrup, and lemongrass citron puree. So that's it for the main booths of the Food and Wine Festival, but there are other offerings at some other spots. Over at Willie's Churros, right there in what I call kind of the hub, kind of near Carthay Circle. So Willie's is offering a new item. It's a mango churro. It's got mango sauce, chili lime sugar, tamarind chamoy, and you can use your sip and savor pass for this. And then right next to Soren, we've got the Smoke Jumpers Grill. These are mobile order uh, available type items, which is nice. They have a pepperoni pizza slider, Angus beef and pork sausage patty, pepperoni, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, fried pepperoni served on a ciabatta slider roll and topped with pepperoncini, also available with the Sip and Savor Pass. That's a new item this year. Beverage-wise, they have a peach blueberry lemonade with blueberry flavor-filled boba, non-alcoholic. That's a new item. And a peach blueberry lemonade cocktail, vodka, blue curacao, peach blueberry lemonade, and blueberry flavored boba. Another new item. And then the churro cart that's over by the Redwood Creek Challenge, they're offering a maple bacon churro, cinnamon sugar, maple icing, and crumbled bacon. Whoa. Also, uh, you can use your Sip and Savor Pass over there. Sonoma Terrace, is offering an old world aged white cheddar lager soup with a toasted fig and prosciutto sandwich. Kind of want to try that. And then over at Cocina Cucamonga on the Pacific Wharf, they have a strawberry horchata, house-made rice and cinnamon beverage with strawberry sauce that's non-alcoholic. Also a new item and you can use your sip and savor pass. And then they have an alcoholic version, a uh, strawberry horchata with spiced rum, house-made rice and cinnamon beverage with strawberry sauce and spiced rum, also new. Lucky Fortune also jumping into the game with a mushroom bow. Poison glazed mushrooms, Asian slaw, and jalapeno in a steamed bow. Sip and Savor Pass does apply here. That's a new item. And at the Pacific Wharf Cafe, it's an avocado toast, smashed avocado on toasted sourdough bread, fire roasted cherry tomatoes, mozzarella, cilantro, and balsamic reduction. That is a new item, and that sounds really good. And the cappuccino cart over at Pacific Wharf offering a horchata cold brew creamy blend of cold brew and house-made rice and cinnamon beverage. That's a new item for this season. Now over at Paradise Garden Grill, they're offering a bunch of new items for this year, including a brisket fries. Their fries topped with shredded smoked barbecue biscuit, cheddar cheese sauce, pico de gallo, chipotle crema, and green onions. A char su ribs, Chinese-inspired grilled pork ribs. There's an impossible gyro, seasoned plant-based meat served on pita bread with the dairy-free tzatziki, seasoned tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions. 
there's a jerk chicken, there's a beer battered fish taco plate, and, and not new this year, is the strawberry shortcake. I do think I remember this. It's pound cake with fresh strawberries and mascarpone creme. And beverage wise over there at Garden Grill, they've got a bourbon strawberry lemonade garnished with fresh strawberry and mint. That's new. And a Mexican style lager, as well as some other beer and cider options, including a beer garden flight. Now there's that little special event cart over there in Paradise Garden. They're offering pretzel bites with beer cheese sauce. That sounds really good. As well as a berry cotton candy. Both of those items are new. Lamplight Lounge also has some offerings. We've got a blue peach basil cocktail, gin, elderflower, liqueur, peach, basil, simple syrup, lemon, blue, curacao, and fresh basil. That's new. Also new is the smoked pineapple bourbon, bourbon whiskey, Italian bitters, aperitif, honey, simple syrup, grilled pineapple, and lemon juice. As far as food items are concerned, they have a ribeye for two, a 28 ounce bone-in ribeye with glazed baby carrots, poblano potato bake, roasted vine tomatoes, cipollini onions, and bourbon bacon compound butter paired with a specially selected glass of wine and cookies and cream donuts for dessert. So that's a that's a full meal. They're also offering cookies and cream donuts topped with cream-filled chocolate cookie pieces served with a vanilla and cookie dipping sauce. That is a new item. Katie is going to love that. And then over at Pim's Test Kitchen in Avengers Campus, there is an elote pretzel, five ounce pretzel topped with corn three ways, cilantro sprigs, radish, cotilla, and flavored crema. Brand new item. And then Terran Treats is the cart over by Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a raspberry spiral ration, yellow strawberry spiral churro with berry compote. That sounds good. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up from Disney's California Adventure 2022 Food and Wine Festival is coming up soon. I hope you're excited. I hope you can't wait to try all those fantastic foods like we will. We're going to be in Florida for the first part of it. We're not going to be there for opening day, but we will be there. Trust me, the minute we get back, we're going to jump in there and try all sorts of good stuff and give you our opinion. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think, what you're excited for, and we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.